Welcome to another video, uh, May 2024, question number 5, paper 1. So this math uh, is from the chapter Kinematics. I hope those who are doing question paper, they are familiar with the chapter Kinematics. So it says a particle is moving along the x-axis at time t seconds when t is greater than or equal to 0. The acceleration a meters per second square of p is given by this formula. So we know the acceleration over here and that is 3t minus 4 and it says as well that when t equals to 0 p is at rest so the velocity of p is 0 so when time equals to 0 the velocity of p is also 0 as well it says over here find the velocity of p when t equals to 4 so uh, to find the velocity uh, the rules of kinematics first is displacement then velocity then acceleration so acceleration is given so it goes uh, it goes you know we, are, we need to find acceleration uh, from acceleration to velocity we have to integrate okay so we are going to integrate uh, acceleration in order to find velocity in terms of time so v equals to uh, integration of 3t minus 4 so this becomes uh, v equals to 3t square minus divided by 2 minus 4t plus c. So v is equals to 3 by 2t square minus 4t plus c. So this is the expression we got. But I need to find the value of uh, the velocity of p when t equals to 4. So the problem is I have a c over here which is an extra so I have to find this entire term once again so I know one information when velocity was 0 time was also 0 so I plug in these values in the expression over here so v 0 and time was 0 so 3 by 2 0 square minus 4 into 0 plus c so the value of c is 0 as well so then now I get my entire expression for velocity and that is 3 by 2 t square minus 4 t and now I need to find the velocity value when time equals to 4 so the velocity value is 3 by 2 into 16 minus uh, 16 so the value is uh, 24 so v equals to uh, 20, uh, 24 minus 16 and that is equals to 8 so 24 minus 16 is 8 meters per second and that's the answer so in the second part of 5, it says, find uh, at, at time t seconds where t is greater than 0, p is instantaneously at rest. So at rest means v equals to 0. Find the value of t. Okay. So the expression we got, we have to put the value of v as 0 over here. So this is 3 by 2 t square minus 4t. Here I have to find the value of t. So if I take t common from here, it becomes 3 by 2 t minus 4 equals to 0. So one of the value of t is 0. So another value is 3 by 2 t minus 4 equals to 0. Or I can see from here that uh, 3 by 2 t equals to 4 or 3 t equals to 8 or t equals to 8 by 3 seconds and this is our answer so you can represent this with capital t as well so t 8 by 3 seconds okay in the last part of the question they're they're telling us that when t equals to 0 p is at the point with coordinates this find the displacement of p from the regiment when t equals to 3 so if we need to find the velo displacement and we have to integrate velocity with respect to dt. Okay, so displacement expression would be integration of 3 by 2 t square minus 4 t. We have to integrate this with respect to time. So displacement is uh, 3 by 2 multiplied with t to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 4 t square divided by 2 plus c this 3 this 3 cancel this 2 this 2 cancels out so the final expression of displacement would be t cube by 2 and minus 2 t square plus c 
Now here we have one information when the value of uh, x is minus when t equals to zero, it is at this point. Okay, so so since it's moving on the x-axis along the x-axis, so the value of x-axis over here is minus ten. So it's on the minus ten from the origin. So this is the displacement it is at when time equals to zero. Okay, so this is the displacement is having from the origin when time equals to zero. So if I put t equals to zero, so my displacement would be minus 10. All right, so here, so minus 10, minus 10 equals to zero cubed by two minus two, zero square plus c or c here is minus 10 so the entire displacement expression would be t cube by 2 minus 2t square minus 10 but we need to find the displacement when the value of time is 3 so when the time is 3 displacement is s equals to 3 to the power 3 divided by 2 minus 2 3 square minus 10 therefore displacement would be minus 14.5 meter okay that's it